In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Studio One 2.6.2 Producer and Reason 7.1 for a Rewire 2 session. I'm doing this in 64-bit mode, and it's very important that the DAW application and the Rewire 2 slaves be running in the same mode. I'm doing this on the Mac, running Mac OS X 10. 9.3 Mavericks. It will be similar if you are doing this on a Windows machine. I already have a Rewire 7.1 project set up and it's configured with a Redrum instrument and three Dr. Octorex instruments. I also have the Studio One 2.6.2 producer project set up and it has Reason instruments for channel 1, 2, which is stereo, and channel 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, which are monaural. These are the instrument tracks. I also have audio tracks. You need the audio tracks to record. The way you start is by running Studio 1 2.6.2 producer or professional. It needs to be either producer or professional to do rewire. And you will, in the browser, find a reason rewire object. You need to click on that and drag it over into the track lane. That will create the reason rewire object. Once you've created the reason rewire object, you can go to the instrument track and click on reason and it will bring up this dialog. You will see that there's a tiny button labeled CH. If you click on that, it will give you a list of available channels. And what you'll find out is that if you want to use additional channels, you'll need to select them. That is how you create additional channels. Now we're going to switch over to Reason for a moment and we're going to create a new Reason instrument. So we're going to right click in the rack, hover over instruments, and then we're going to create another Dr. Octorex loop player. Now you'll notice that it has a mix component and it also has the actual Dr. Octorex. We're going to select something to play by opening the browser and, uh, and we'll do a synth loop. Uh, we already have sirens so we'll do um, on Electro House. Okay so we have that. Now th this is very important. You want to click on tab and you'll find that by default the output of the Dr. Octorex is going to the mix. That's not what we want. Instead, we want to route it to a rewire channel. And since it's stereo, we're going to do both of them. Now, instead of going to mix, the output of Dr. Octorex is going to the 910 rewire channel pair. At this point, we can go down here and we can remove the mix component. This keeps everything simple and it's an important concept because when you're doing rewire this way, the audio is going to be handled by the rewire to host controller, which is Studio One 2.6.2 producer. Since we want to record the audio, we're going to need to create two monaural audio tracks one for channel 9 and one for channel 10. Now the way we're going to do that, and this is very important, is we're going to go up here to the track lane and there's a plus sign and we're going to click on that one time. That brings up the add tracks dialog. We're going to do this for channel 9, so we're going to change that 8 to a 9. It's audio. Formats mono, monaural. The input, we're going to change that by clicking on it, scrolling down to instruments, and then selecting channel 9. 
and then we're going to need one for channel 10 so again we're going to go up here and we're going to click on this add tracks plus sign we're going to change this 9 to a 10 we're going to change the output to instruments channel 10 There's 9 and 10. We're going to enable it for monitoring and recording. And we can go over here and change the colors. Okay. I'm going to switch back to Reason. I'm going to press the Tab key again. And we're going to see how this works. As you can see up here, we're getting uh, output going to the rewire channels. Okay, that's how that works. And now we're going to record a little bit of it. Yeah, so that uh, that's all working pretty good. And we have the instruments coming in on different uh, rewire channels. And it's important to understand that the key to the Reason 7 part of it is you want the output of each individual instrument routed to rewire channels. What this means, for example, is that on this synthesizer that uh, we just created a little while ago, if you want to add echo to it, then uh, the way you would do that would be you would select it and you would uh, add, a, add an echo unit to it. So here's an echo unit to it. Right? This way it has its own echo. So its echo is separate from anything that's happening on the other instruments. If you use one echo unit and send a little bit of each instrument to it, then you don't have that separation. So the thing that you want to do really to have the most control over the rewire channels is to keep everything separate. That's all there is to it. Thanks.